In this video I'm going to explain how you can, with some ba basic breathing exercises, release DMT in your brain and in your blood. Now DMT stands for dimethyltryptamine and it's been referred to in other, all sorts of cultural texts around the world as the spirit molecule, the god particle. DMT is basically, it's the main ingredient in, um, in something called ayahuasca, which is a very weird elusive, mind-altering substance which can enable you to basically see into alter, altered dimensions, experience all sorts of crazy things like euphoria, depersonalization, time distortion, you know, meeting with other beings and all sorts of crazy things like that. It's a pretty intense thing and like I said DMT is the main ingredient in ayahuasca. Um, you probably won't be able to get your hands on ayahuasca depending on where you live. It's very hard to get hold of and even when you do you experience all sorts of negative effects just like purging where you just constantly vomit vomit and you know throw up and stuff. Um, so I wouldn't actually recommend anybody watching this try and find ayahuasca. However there are a number of things you can do to release DMT naturally. DMT is created in your own body in your pineal gland and what happens is if you Firstly, DMT is also created when you're just about to die. So don't do that. Don't, you know, try and get just too close to the edge so that you release DMT. That's a really bad way of doing this. Here is how you can release DMT naturally just by doing a, diff a few different breathing techniques. It's actually quite easy, so I hope you enjoy this. But before we get into this, just bear in mind that you will experience pretty crazy things like euphoria. You know, it might even be a bit unsettling and uncomfortable for you if you've not, if you've not been doing this if you've never done it before, which most people have not tried to do this before. So bear that in mind, DMT is a mind altering substance, which you, it shouldn't be taken lightly. You should actually, you know, do some research about this before you go ahead and start pumping yourself full of DMT with these crazy breathing techniques. All right, so here's how you start to release DMT using breathing techniques. Here's the main technique. So firstly, you wanna relax all of your muscles. You wanna relax your whole body, clear your mind of any thoughts. And by the way, meditation helps a lot with this. And then you wanna try and just go through your body st stage by stage and relax deeply everything associated with that body part. So you start with your face. You relax all of the muscles in your face and try and let go of any wandering thoughts or annoying you know, sensations. If you need to scratch an itch, do it now. Relax everything from your face down through your body, your neck, your shoulders, your arms. And you really at this point want to just try and focus on feeling every sensation that you possibly can on your body. So what I mean by that is try and feel the gravity pulling yourself down to the floor. Try and feel the air against your skin, the pressure of the air. How, pre how much pressure is it applying to your skin? How do your clothes feel on your body? Do they feel heavy? Do they feel light? soft, abrasive, feel all of these sensations going through your body, working your way through each stage. And now just become more conscious, become more aware of your body, of how heavy your arms feel, the weight of your head, even the weight of your head pressing down on your neck. Most people are never, never aware of these things. Become more aware of these sensations and how they feel. And now you're gonna just take a deep breath in, right from the ground, and then down through your body, through all of your chakras, through all of your muscles and limbs, until you become relaxed. You wanna become really deeply relaxed. So just do this deep breathing again and again, slowly each time, while focusing on those sensations that I mentioned. Okay, while focusing on things like the weight of your arms, the air pressure against your skin, how your clothes feel, all of these things. You need to focus on all of those things. And by the way, at, at this point in time, you can still have your eyes open. Um, and what you should actually do is, is to cycle through, much like the, sen uh, much like the sense in senses induced lucid dreaming technique, the style technique. You want to cycle through your senses and start by you know, looking really far in the, in the distance, find a point to focus on. Like for example, now I'm looking at you know, my shed in the garden and then just focus on everything around it peripherally. So just look now at you know, the things around the object Focus on being aware of the lighting around you. How well lit is the room? How many shadows are there? Like try and observe and take all, the, all of this information in without directly interacting with it and having a thought about that thing. Uh, I know it sounds kind of crazy, but if you've watched this far, we're about to get into the good stuff. Now what will happen is as you go through these cycles, right, as you're cycling through these different sensations, these different um, experiences that you have in your body, and uh, you're going through the different senses, right? Your sight, your the hearing, how what you feel, 
um, even what you can taste to some degree and what you can, you know, um, uh, what you're hearing in your head, eventually, if you do this for about 20 minutes or so and you really focus on these things, eventually you will hear a high frequency noise, a high pitched noise in your head. And this noise, it won't be a painful frequency, by the way, it will just be a quite a soft, like a, almost like a bell, but a continuous bell, all right? And this frequency will slowly get louder and louder. This weird sound frequency will get louder and louder to the point where it takes over your whole body and starts to vibrate your body. Now, the whole time you're doing this, you need to be really deeply breathing. I can't stress enough how important it is to keep breathing through this, uh, this sensation, this experience. You need to keep breathing through it. And now what you can also do is you can start to get a sense of the aura or the energy around objects. Right. So like I said, you, you're looking in the distance, you might try and, I know it sounds crazy, you want to try and focus on seeing what is not there. You want to try and imagine there's an energy field or an aura around everything, okay? And this is the energy that that object generates, almost like the life force, you could say. You want to try and focus on seeing that and trying to bring that into your awareness. Try and do this with all of the objects around you, everything you know in the room, all of the objects near you, the objects in the distance, you want to try and focus on bringing that, you know, awareness of the aura and of the energy into your consciousness, into your self. And now just try and focus now on the air around you, the air, the physical air and space around where you are sitting or laying, the physical air or space around where you're sitting or laying, and that will start to make the frequency a bit more powerful. Okay, remember, remember I said about the sound frequency, it will start to make it more powerful and more easy to, easy to notice. Now, this is where you're probably going to start thinking that this is basically a meditation, right? It's a meditation technique. It's not really. And the reason that it's different from a meditation technique is because with this, is because with this one, with uh, what I would call this DMT breathing method, you're not really meditating. Instead, you're just... It's almost like you're trying to access a sense that it's almost like you're trying to access a sense that you don't normally use and something which most people don't use actually. Imagine if you had never heard anything in your life, if you were deaf, and somebody was trying to describe what sound is like to you. That's kind of how I'm trying to describe this for you. You have a sense of the objects around you, the energy they're giving off, the auras, uh, the static in the air, the energy around everything. You have a sense of that without physically seeing it. It's a very weird um, experience to describe, but that is what you are trying to do with this technique. You're not trying to, you know, I mean, it is a bit about breathing, but you're really trying to just use the sense, use the, uh, the sense that you usually don't use, in this case, your third eye, to release the DMT, the, dimeth the dimethyltryptamine from your pineal gland, the, your third eye, basically. And the best way of describing how to do that is, is to engage your visual um, like you could say, muscles, your, your visual, you know, how you how it feels to look at things and use your eyes. There are different levels to this, you know, some people will experience nothing at first, and other people will experience, you know, uh, all kinds of things. Here's some of the things that you might experience if you do this properly. You might experience like a tightening of your jaw and mouth muscles. You might experience things like weird metallic tastes in your mouth. You might have a feeling of euphoria or bliss or serenity. You might get heat waves traveling through your spine. You might get like a high pitched frequency that you hear in your ears. That's one of the normal, more common ones. I, like I said, the sense that things around you are kind of plastic or they're made of plastic. This is a really weird one. Um, I can't really explain it better than that. You just might get like a sense or a feeling that the world around you is <laughs> now suddenly made of plastic. I know it sounds crazy uh, by the way, but that's, you know, what it feels like. So you might again, feel like the static or electricity is in the air. You don't know how you know this, but you just feel it in the air. And and another side effect, or you know, uh, effect, I guess you could say, is that your muscles might not cooperate. You might actually feel like you can't move, or you're heavy, you're slow. Suddenly, things are difficult to move. That's that's all normal, by the way. And so that's a reason why I would, I would suggest if you do this uh, technique to try and release DMT, uh, I would suggest that you do it sitting down or laying down. To be honest. Um, I would not suggest you do this standing up and I wouldn't really do it outside unless you're in a very open 
um, kind of area, an area where it doesn't really matter if you move around or don't move around or lay down even. So like a giant park field, a forest would be ideal. Uh, in fact, a forest would be a really good place, but as long as you're not near any sharp branches, just in case, you know, I mean, it, it affects everyone differently. You might suddenly st stand up and then fall over or whatever, whatever, you know. Uh, it's not a state that you're probably used to being in, so I wouldn't recommend doing it in, you know, a dangerous place. Definitely wouldn't recommend doing it in, in the vicinity of loads of other people. But a good place might be your lounge, your bedroom, okay, your, um, a field nearby, an empty field. And yeah, so I've made another video about the effects of DMT, I think, uh, on this channel. Uh, but really you're going to start if you do these techniques regularly, if you you know do these breathing methods regularly, and you start to uh, understand what DMT and the pineal gland really is, you will have a different perspective on life because the pineal gland is a way. the The lining of the pineal gland is very unique because although it's not a sight organ, a visual organ in the sense that we can see through it physically in this real world. It does have rods and cones on the on the edge of the lining, the pineal gland. So this means that it is intended, it was designed to be used for sight. And you might be thinking, well, how can it be used for sight if the, if it's not connected to the, you know, the eyes? Well, it is connected, but just in a strange way. It's connected in a way that lets you see things that are not being shown through your eyes, meaning it's meant to pick up signals from different dimensions, different realities. And this is why it's been called the third eye, because it can literally let you see into other dimensions and connect with something much bigger than this 3D reality that we're in, this world of duality. So when you start unlocking this stuff, you will be connected to things that, at the moment, you probably have no idea exist. Things like your connection between your soul and your physical earth avatar through the chakra system and through the pineal gland. The pineal gland, and this is why it's called the god organ, right? The the spirit molecule. I mean, DMT is the spirit molecule, but pineal, the pineal gland is the way uh, to produce the DMT. And this is why it's been, it's been hypothesized that when you die, your pineal gland releases a lot of DMT. Now, why would it do that, okay? Well, it's been argued that the reason that your pineal gland releases DMT just before you die is to allow your soul to, or to allow your consciousness, I should say, to make a clean exit from the physical body and travel back through into the other dimensions to where your soul resides. The, and DMT is a way of doing that. It's almost like a gateway, uh, like a portal that enables you to then to transcend, to go beyond this reality, this dimension, and back up into where your soul resides. So like I've said, very different to my usual videos, very different to lucid dreaming. Um, as a side effect, by the way, of releasing DMT during this technique, you will have more lucid dreams. You will remember more of your dreams. They'll be more vivid, okay? Um, but really, you're gonna be unlocking much more important, profound things with this. Uh, it's not for beginners. You know, if you've been watching my other videos, and you've been learning about lucid dreaming, meditation, you know, this stuff is a bit different to that. This is very um, advanced. Unlocking DMT and producing DMT naturally in your body, using breath work, using meditation and awareness techniques. It's not for beginners. And if you're not ready for it, it's gonna freak you out, but I promise you that you should stick with it, give it a try. And uh, yeah, if you've been wait waiting for something else to do, if you've been lucid dreaming for a while and you've been just wanting to go that bit further you've been wanting to experience something a bit deeper then this is hopefully going to be very interesting for you this video has gone on for too long this is almost 20 minutes now give it a try and leave a comment letting me know what you think about dmt and maybe you've already tried to release it i'd love to hear what you think so leave a comment and i'll see you next time